Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, 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 hello. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Masaluko. Thank hello, you. Hello, teacher. Hello, thank you. Welcome. Hello, good teacher. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for being on time. Nice to see your faces. Hola, 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 hola. Hello, teacher. Hello, ¿quién está ahí? ¿Quién nos está hablando? That's your baby. Miren que today no me va a pasar lo que me ha estado pasando. Como hoy yo estoy en two computers, so si ven ahí dos inglés corporativo, that's me, ok. Porque ayer sí que quedaron cuatro videos equipo este, bien feo, porque se me conectaba, se me desconectaba. So now if one computer doesn't work, so immediately I will be in the other one, ok. So me fui a conseguir ahí una. Otra computadora, porque este bien feo que se corte así, no se me va a cortar el, la, la llamada. Y I have the presentation in both, in both uh, computers. So, you see, todo para darles a ustedes ahí un servicio VIP. <laughs> ok. So, um, uh, thank you for being on time. Thank you for uh, being with your cameras. Hoy lo veo dobles. Um, I guess that, yeah, the, 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 this computer, the one that, that, I, that I use, so las computadoras, no sé, pero quizás entre más nuevas son, más delicadas son. No sé, es el análisis que yo hago, porque la otra que tengo es la guerrera, ¿verdad? La viejita, la que ando para arriba y para abajo y es ahí está, bien, no, no se, no se frisa y esta que es la que ocupo oficialmente para estas clases, so me está dando ahí algunos algunos problemas de internet, o sea que si no tiene buena conexión al internet se tiende a desconectar, ¿ok? Pero bueno, so let's start, let's start, okay? So I hope that you enjoy your Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week, right? We are in the middle of the week. Today is uh, Wednesday and tomorrow it's Friday, okay? Tomorrow it's Friday for us, uh, even though I know it's a Thursday, but um, we say that it's Friday, okay? So um, I guess that I will share the screen uh, with the other with the other computer, let's see if I can do. So I will start as como que I don't know. Be using two computers at the same time. So let me see if it works. Um. Oh yes, it is. It is working. So let. Let me start here. So I will be using the other computer to share the screen porque esta es la que falla. La compu en la que estoy ahorita es la que falla el, el, el internet sometimes. So I would use the other computer just for the screen and this one just for the audio. Okay, so let's start. Okay, today is a Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. And tomorrow it's Friday, okay? This is everything that we covered in previous classes. So remember that we are learning the simple present, okay? Simple present is four actions that we do every day, simple routine, something that you do every week, every weekend, every month, every year, and so on and so on, okay? So uh, we have positive sentences, we have negative sentences, and we have um, questions as well, right? So we have the formula right there that um, in order for us to um, create like the simple present, so we need auxiliaries, okay? And we have a famous auxiliary in simple present, which is, um, do and does, okay? Those are the two 
auxiliaries that we use in simple present. Do and does, okay? Uh, we say that we are going to use that does for he, she, eat, okay? And we are going to use do for I, we, they, you, okay? The other subjects. Now, um, we have the negative sentences as well that we are going to use done or doesn't, okay? Depending on the, depending on the uh, subject, right? I say, um, I like to go out with my friends every weekend. So that is a positive sentence, right? I like to go out with my friends every weekend, okay? Now, if I want to say that I don't like it, so I don't like to go out with my friends every weekend. So we have the auxiliary done. We mention also the auxiliary doesn't, okay? Negative, doesn't, okay? And we mention that. Uh, we say, he, uh, drive, he drives very carefully every day. He drives very carefully every day. So now in negative, he doesn't. Drive. Ahí el verbo ya no cambia. Remember, when we have an auxiliary, the verb do not change. Okay? Keep in mind, if we have a positive sentence, yes. Remember, we mentioned that there are some rules. Okay? Mencionamos que no es que yo a todos los verbos le voy a poner una S cuando es tercera persona. Vimos por ahí una imagen donde están las reglas, ¿verdad? Por ahí lo tienen, ese cuadrito. Igual yo se los voy a compartir este, al final de la semana, mañana, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes lo tengan. Pero por ahí está la regla, ¿ok? De las terceras personas, he, she, it, ¿ok? Y dijimos que, in general, we are a letter S, right? In the verb, but sometimes we need the verbs that ends in a letter Y. Okay, and when the verb ends in a letter Y, we are going to change the letter Y for a I, okay? And then we add ES, okay? Then we have the other type of verbs that ends in O, S, H, C, H, X, or S, S, in which we are going to add ES, okay? So that is like the base uh, formula that we have for the, uh, for the, uh, burst, okay? So, remember simple present, eso es lo que llevamos, okay? So, um, voy a compartir en este momento este, el nombre de algunas personas allí en el grupo del WhatsApp. Eh, me comunicaron el día de ahora que hay ahí varias personas que están este, un poquito atrasadas, okay? Por favor, las personas que voy a mencionar en el grupo, En este momento eh, son personas que necesitan ponerse al día con la plataforma, ¿ok? Recuérdense que en su caso el único, el único este, trabajo que tenemos es el de la plataforma, ¿ok? So, estas personas que estoy mencionando ahí en el grupo, por favor, este, si es posible, me pueden indicar, ¿verdad? Si es que han tenido algún problema, este, si es que hay algo pues que se les está dificultando, ahí les estoy poniendo los nombres. Si usted no está ahí, quiere decir que usted va bien, usted va avanzando. Tal vez no es que ya terminó, pero sí usted va en buen camino, ¿ok? Entonces, tengamos ese, ese cuidado de que este podamos podamos de una de una manera eh, eh, avanzar, ¿ok? Porque acuérdense que el porcentaje de la plataforma es del 80% y si usted no ha ingresado, no ha trabajado, al final pues usted va a estar ahí a última hora y es, yo ya se los dije, ahí va a estar en vela usted conmigo hasta que termine, hasta el amanecer. Entonces, este, tienen que por lo menos el día de mañana tener este, completada hasta la unidad 2. Prácticamente la unidad 2 la estamos terminando nosotros mañana. Entonces, usted tiene que 
tener terminada por lo menos hasta la unidad 2 su plataforma. ¿Estamos bien con esa información? Sí. Yes, teacher. 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 Yes, Okay, uh, Jancy, Herminia, could you please help me with the reading? By the end on this class, you will develop a scale in the predix scan um, sequence event after reading in this course three intervene about schedules. Okay, thank you, thank you. So. Let's see what we have right here, okay? So it says, uh, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules, okay? So, Al final de esta clase, vamos ahorita a leer. Os dice que usted va a develop. ¿Qué es esto de developed? Desarrollar. Desarrollar. Muy bien. Desarrollar. Ok. Dice acá que nosotros vamos a ser capaces de desarrollar skills. ¿Qué es skills? Habilidades. Habilidades. Perfecto. Habilidades in predicting, en predecir, scanning, escanear, en sequencing, secuencia de eventos, events, events. Events after reading, uh, discussing three after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Okay, después de leer y discutir tres interviews. ¿Qué son interviews? Entrevistas. Entrevistas. Excelente. Entrevistas about schedules. What is a schedule? Tareas. Tareas. Uh -huh. Schedules. Horario. Horario. Perfect. That's a schedule. Horario. Ok. Si yo le digo a usted, uh, what is the schedule for this class? Ok. What is the schedule for this class? Alguien me va a decir, oh, the schedule for this class is from 8 to 9. Okay, that's the uh, schedule for the class. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see the reading that we have. This is, what is your schedule like? Okay, this is a question. What is your schedule like? Como es tu horario, right? What is your schedule like? Look at the picture and the labels. Who get up early and who get up late? Look at the three pictures that we have right there. This is an, a student report. Uh, a student reporter, Mike Starr, talks to people on the street about their schedules. Okay, so let's read. Okay, let's see. Carla, could you please help me with the reading for with this one? The first, uh, the first um, paragraph about Brittany Davis. Okay, teacher. Brittany Davis, college student. Um, what's your schedule like? My classes are at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job on the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Nice. So she is a Brittany Davis. She is a college student. You know what is college? What is college? Col no. Mm, not really. In the US, college is university. Like exactly. 
university, okay? So here in El Salvador, we say university. I go to the universities, okay? But they call it, they, they, they say college, okay? Un estudiante que ya está en el college mean, means que ya está en estudios superiores, universitarios, okay? Nosotros aquí, el, el bachillerato es el high school, right? Cuando voy a la high school, dice usted. Ok, then uh, nos vamos a la universidad. Nosotros no le decimos college a la university. Nosotros le decimos just así, right, university. Entonces ella es una estudiante universitaria. Ok, viene Mike. Mike es el entrevistador, right? He is the interviewer. Entrevistador, interviewer. Ok, and it says... Uh, what is your schedule like? Ok, le está preguntando cómo es su horario. Viene ella y le dice, my schedule, my classes, I'm sorry, my classes start at 8 uh, a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. And then uh, he says, when do you, when do your classes end? ¿A qué horas terminan, right? Well, they end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. Ok, ella tiene un trabajo en la biblioteca, library, it's a biblioteca, right? Sometimes nosotros decimos librería, right? Pero no, library es biblioteca, ok? Librería que nosotros conocemos aquí en El Salvador, esas van a ser bookstore, ok? Esas son una tienda, una tienda de school store, ok? Pero library, that's biblioteca. So, aparte de que estudia, trabaja, ok? So, le dice el, when do you study? ¿A qué horas tú estudias? So, my only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight, ok? Ese es el único horario que ella tiene para estudiar por las tardes, a las 8 hasta la medianoche, ok? Ahí, eh, para en US, ok? Las ocho de la noche es la tarde todavía. Nosotros aquí las ocho ya decimos son las ocho de la noche. No decimos son las ocho de la tarde. Pero acuérdense que ellos tienen un clima o un uh, sistema diferente. En algunas zonas son las nueve de la noche y el sol está ahí todavía. Y así en otros países, ¿verdad? No solo en Estados Unidos. Por eso es que ellos a, la, a las ocho dicen de la tarde. Eh, la gente allá está a las diez de la noche cenando. Y ya a esa hora, pues ya se va acercando la oscuridad y a la noche. Por eso la tarde para ellos es bien eh, extensa, right? Imagínense, 8 de la tarde, dice. <laughs> ok, at 8 evening, ok? Pero that's the way it is for them, ok? Nice. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Cindy, Marilu, help us with the second reading, please. We have Joshua. Joshua Burns, he is a website designer, okay? Vamos a ver cómo está el schedule de Joshua. Okay, what's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6, 7 a.m. and go for a round before breakfast. How do you to work? I work at home. I start work at 8, around 1. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. project. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Nice. So let's see. This is Joshua. He is a website designer. Okay. Viene Mike y le dice, what is your schedule? Okay. ¿Cómo es tu horario? Well, I get up at 6.30. It's our celebration. Right, and I and go for a run before breakfast. So, él es atlético, right? Va a hacer una caminata, va a correr antes de desayunar. And then, then it says, How do you go to work? ¿Cómo llegas a tu trabajo? Okay, so I, I work at home, trabaja desde casa, okay, como muchos ahora en día. Trabajamos de, desde casa, right? So, I work at home, I start at eight. Ok, imagine empieza a, a trabajar a las 8, right? Around one, around, around, around. Esa palabra es algo bonita de pronunciar, right? Around, around, one. Ok, I take a, I take a lunch break. Ok, a eso de la una se toma ahí un, un almuerzo, receso, un receso un poquito largo, ok? 
para almorzar. And then it says, I work at, I work at home. I start, okay, I'm sorry. I take a lunch break. Then it says, how long, how late do you work? How late? Hasta qué horas, qué tan tarde trabaja, le dice. Well, sometimes I work, I work all night to finish a project, okay? So, algunas veces trabaja, dice, toda la noche, okay? Así como nosotros que nos agarra la noche aquí con la clase, okay? Nice. Let's see. The next one, the next one will be for uh, Janet del Rosario, please. Janet del Rosario, read Maya Black. She is a rock musician, okay? She is a rock musician. Okay, what you sketch online? I work at night, I go to work at 10, at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at sit at sit in, in the morning. Okay, okay, thank you. So this is Maya Black. She is a musician. So viene la pregunta, like what is your schedule like? Como es su horario, right? Viene ella y dice, I work at Nice, so ella trabaja de noche. I go to work at 10 p.m. Ella se va a su trabajo a las 10 de la noche. I play until 3 a.m. Y está tocando como es una musician, right? Ella está ahí play, that means tocando, I guess, la guitar, until 3 a.m., a las 3 de la mañana, okay? What do you do after work? Le dice, okay? What do you do after work? I have dinner. Imagine a las 4 de la mañana. Dinner, okay, la cena. Then I take a taxi, a taxi home, okay? De ahí se regresa con taxi a su casa. What time do you go bed, 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 bed? What time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora esté? Pasa la cama, le dice. Oh, I got to bed at five in the morning. Imagínense, a las cinco de la mañana se va a dormir. Okay. So that's people in the U.S. Okay. So nice. Let's see if we get the idea. Okay. So now we have right here, read the article, then number the activities in each person schedule from one to five. Okay. So ya tenemos aquí. Eh, Los horarios de cada uno, ok? Vamos a poner en orden the activities, ok? So we need to put the, the activities in order. For example, Brittany Davis, ok? The first thing that she do, that, I'm sorry, that she does is she gets up, ok? That's the first thing, ok? We have the number one right there. She gets up, ok? So... What would be the second activity? Let's see, let's see, Jennifer. Jennifer Lemus. What Hi, is the second? Hello, thank you. What is the second activity? First, she gets up. Did you remember que hace después uh, Brittany? Um, she takes the bus, the bus. She takes the bus, okay, vamos a ver. Uh, my classes started at seven, uh, start at eight, so I get up at seven and take the bus, perfect. That's the second one. Then what would be the third one, Senia Patricia? Senia Patricia, what would be the third activity? Hi, teacher. Hi. La imagen, teacher. Okay, so let's see which one will be the third activity. The Ken, the Joshua. Uh, Brittany. Brittany. Ah, Brittany. Ah, uh, quiero ver la clase. Okay, se levanta. Uh, I get, I grad at seven, at eight. Esa. The bus. Mm -hmm. to That's the, the second one. The second one is that she okay. takes the bus to school. Sí. Look at the list. Ve ahí la lista que está. ¿Cuál sería la tercera? 
she wore. Ok, quien vi, uh, creo que ahí nos hemos equivocado. Look, my classes start at 8. I get up at 7 and take the bus. So, activity number one, I'm sorry, activity number one is, yeah, she gets up. Ok, but then activity number, oh my goodness, sorry, okay. estoy, me estoy emocionando de más. This one, okay? So, uh, number one, she gets up. Then she goes to classes, okay? No, she takes the bus and then she goes to classes. ¿Cuál va primero? Goes to classes or take the bus? Goes to goes class. Goes to class. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces ahí estamos, okay? My classes start at eight. I get up, I take the bus to school. So, entonces... Ya tenemos ahí las numbers two and number three, right? The number two will be goes to classes. Number three, she takes the bus. Number four will be she works, okay? Ya en la tarde, she says that she works in the library. And the last one will be number five, she studies, okay? At the end, ya la medianoche, ¿verdad? Ella está estudiando, okay? Because she's working in the afternoon. Uh, let's see the second one, Joshua Borms, okay? ¿Se acuerdan de Joshua? Vamos a ver activity number one. Let's see Sara, Sara Guzmán. Which one is the first activity from Joshua? Did you remember? ¿Se acuerda? Uh, I get up at six, sorry. Ah, okay, let's see Joshua. Okay, it says, uh, well, I get up at six, 30, okay, so that is the first activity that he does, okay, he gets up. What will be the second activity, Sofia Eugenia? He goes for a room. Perfect, he goes for a room, okay. What will be the third one, Seneida? Uh -huh. Seneida. Sorry. Dice, he goes for a room y la siguiente actividad. Sounds like a war. Uh -huh. work. Mm, pero before work, veamos lo que hace. It says that he gets up, then he goes for a room, and then he has his breakfast, okay? Number three, sería he has breakfast, porque dice que primero va a correr y después desayuna, right? So he has breakfast. That would be number three. What would be number four? Let's see, Sofia Avalos. What would be number four, activity number four? Uh, he starts war. Okay, he starts work. And the last one, Sonia Araceli, the last activity will be? I'm sorry, yeah. Sonia? No, la puerta se va a Okay, uh, Sonia Araceli. No sé si tiene audio, Sonia. Creo que le da problema ahí porque no lo puede deshabilitar el audio. So, Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy, sí. Wendy, Wendy Beatriz. The last activity, yes. which one would be? ¿Cuál sería la última? Uh, he eats a lunch. Perfect. Al final, a la una, dice que se toma un sobrequecito ahí, right? So, he eats lunch. Nice. Let's see the last one. Let's see, Samuel Davy. What will be the first activity for um, Maya? Did you remember Maya? Go ahead. Yeah. Maya, Maya Blacks. What is the first activity that she does? She goes to work. Okay, she goes to work. Okay, veamos el, el, el paragraph that we have. It says that she works at night, right? At night, I at work night. at night. Okay, perfect. 
That's the number one, okay? Ella lo primero que hace es irse al trabajo. She goes uh, to work. Then, let's see, let's see, a quién no le hemos preguntado ahora. Eh, vamos a ver a los que no le hemos preguntado. Claudia Quintanilla. Claudia Quintanilla, what is the next one, okay? The first one is she goes to work. Finish. ¿Qué hace después, Maya? Work. Okay, okay, perfect. She finished work. It says number two. Abigail Villalta, the next one. What will be number three? She goes home. Okay, she goes home. Va a la casa o cena? ¿Qué hace primero? Veamos. Uh, I have dinner. Okay, what do you do after work? So, in that case, Abigail, after she finished work, number three, she has dinner. Okay, come. Después que sale de trabajar, come. Then Jasmine Robles. Okay, Jasmine Robles. What is next? You are on mute. Mm -hmm. no. Casi no, no se le escucha, Jasmine. I'm sorry. Ahora creo que sí. She goes home. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. She goes home. Okay, and the last one, Walter Wilfredo, the last one, what is the last activity? She goes to bed. Perfect. Okay, aquí okay. empieza al revés, right? Al final, she goes to bed. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's continue. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Now we will, uh, we are going to start a new unit. Okay, so if you See, this is something that we have in the platform. Does it have a view? That's the name of the, uh, that's the name of the lesson, right? Does it have a view? Okay. Does it have a view? What is view? Observar. Observar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay. Does it have a view? Alguien, alguien sabe? What is a view? Vista. Vista. Perfect. Thank you. Esto les, la pregunta dice, ¿tiene, eh, uh, ¿tiene vista? Estamos hablando de una casa, un apartamento, algo, ¿verdad? Y usted dice, mira, ahí tiene vista en tu casa, ¿tenés alguna vista? Does it have a view? Ok, y usted dice, yes, I have a, a, a view of the city, ok, tengo la vista hacia la ciudad, o I have a view al, al vecino tengo de vista, ok, la casa del vecino, right? So, does it have a view? That's the meaning, ok, so we are going to talk about parts of the house, ok, probablemente ya saben ustedes parte de la casa, pero vamos a ver si hay algunos que tal vez no conocemos, ¿ok? So, uh, estoy viendo aquí en el chat, creo que alguien dijo que tenía problemas, Sonia, ¿ok? No se preocupe, Sonia. Um, let's see. House and apartment. Did you remember how we mentioned the word for an apartment yesterday? ¿Se acuerdan que mencionamos esa palabra? Apartamentos. Ajá, uh -huh. apartment, the different way to say apartment. Flat, maybe. Flat, thank you, okay, flat, okay, flat. Uh, apartment, lo va a escuchar usted American, okay, American English, and flat, that will be British, okay, mm -hmm. British English, okay, that will say flat, okay, nice. So we have a house and we have a apartment apartment look at the uh, the options that we have right here we have the first floor déjeme ver si aquí puedo sacar el puntero um, yes okay we have the first floor right here and um ese es una casa right una casa que tiene primer piso decimos cuando hay una casa de no sé varios niveles right so this is the first floor, okay? Then we have the dining room, the dining room. The dining room is el comedor, decimos nosotros, right? El comedor, so dining room. We have the living room, okay? The living room. 
where you are with your TV, with your sofa, you are probably with a small table. So that's the living room, okay? Then we have the kitchen, okay? Then we have the kitchen. The kitchen is where you cook, right? Where you prepare your food and everything. Then we have the uh, laundry room, okay? So probably this is a huge house, right? Esta es una casa inmensa, imagínense que cuarto de lavado. Nosotros de milagro y tenemos un pedacito de patio, right? So this is a laundry room, okay? So al menos donde usted tiene el lavadero, la lavadora, right? The laundry machine. So that's your laundry room, okay? Now we have stairs, okay? What is stairs? Gradas. Las gradas, right? That's the stairs, okay? So also we have the yard, okay? The yard. El patio, decimos nosotros, right? El patio, okay? So we have, sometimes we have backyard, patio trasero, backyard. And sometimes we have like a little garden, okay? In front or uh, yard, okay? Puede ser en la entrada o en el final, pero es un yard, okay? So now we have right here the second floor. Okay, the second floor. Esta es la segunda planta, right? The second floor. We have, oh, we forgot the garage. Okay, ahí está donde usted pone your car, right? So the garage is where you have the car. Esta está siempre en la first floor. So then we have bedrooms. Okay, well, we have one bedroom right here. We have another bedroom right here. We have another bedroom right here. Okay, so bedroom is where you go to sleep, where you have your beds. Okay, so then we have right here a bathroom. Okay, we have right here a bathroom. Okay, donde use the se baña, toma el shower, ese es el bathroom. We have more stairs right here, more stairs. And uh, we have a closet, okay? So, usted tiene su ropa, un espacito ahí o un mueble. So that's the closet, right? And we have a hall, okay? So in this house, we have a hall. What is a hall? Pasillo. Excellent, okay, yes, it is a pasillo, right? Nosotros decimos, yo tengo un pasillito ahí en la casa, donde me divide el cuarto con la cocina, qué sé yo, un pequeño espacito por ahí. So that is the halt, okay? So those are the parts that we have for a uh, house, okay? So let's see what happened with the, with the apartment, okay? Obviamente los apartments son más chiquititos, right? Pero we have different, uh, different, different, different parts right here. Look, we have the lobby. You know what is the lobby? Cuando usted va a un hotel, le dicen, te espero en el lobby. What is the lobby? Como sala de espera. Uh -huh. Como una sala de espera, right? Es como una recepción, un espacio que normalmente es bien bonito casi siempre, right? Porque es como la vista del hotel o la vista del edificio, right? El lobby. Entonces, so this is the lobby, okay? This is the lobby. Then in, the, in this apartment, we have a living room. We have the elevator, okay? We have the elevator, okay? El ascensor, así decimos nosotros, right? Nosotros no decimos elevador. Nosotros decimos, me voy a ir en el ascensor. No quiero usar las gradas. In English, that's the elevator, elevator. okay? Elevator. We have a kitchen, we have a dining room, a small one, but we have a, di a dining room. We have a bedroom right here. We have a closet and we have a bathroom, okay? The bathroom is small, but it is there. So these ones are part of a house and part of an apartment and we have more. Creo que les puse otros más por aquí para que veamos extra, 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 extra parts, ok? Obviamente que esta es una casa bien inmensa, ¿verdad? O sea, la de nosotros no, no va a ser así como que tan grandota, pero la idea es aprender el, el vocabulary, right? So parts of a house, uh, we have right here the basement. What is the basement? What is a basement? Sótano. 
Sótano. Sótano, ok. So, nosotros no tenemos sótano. O bueno, no sótano, sino que no, nosotros normalmente tenemos un, un cuarto de cosas guardadas que no ocupamos o cosas así, right? Ahí lo vamos acumulando todo en una esquinita y ahí tenemos el, el relajo, right? So, in this case, basement, cuando usted va a un building, a un edificio en un building, normalmente we have a basement, okay? That's like the, the sótano, right? Then we have kitchen, we have porch. What is a porch? ¿Cómo le, ¿Cómo le podríamos, le decimos nosotros a esto en español? El porch. Lo que pasa es que nosotros no tenemos, right? No tenemos, por eso no, no sabemos, pero el porch es como la, ¿cómo decimos nosotros? La, tiene una... Como una terracita interna. Eso, exacto, una terraza, ok. Ese viene siendo un porch, una terraza, ok. Un lugar donde usted puede salir a, a tomarse un cafecito, que está siempre en su casa, pero no adentro, sino que afuera. Cindy y Marilu, I don't know if you have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of utility room? Utility rooms, ok, ya vamos a llegar aquí. Utility rooms okay. es ese relajo que tenemos nosotros, que nosotros tenemos ahí, sobra algo, lo guardamos ahí. Tenemos un mueble que no lo ocupamos, lo metemos ahí. Todo lo que uno va acumulando, so usted lo pone en un, una bodega, decimos, no, es que ahí tengo una bodeguita yo, de un montón de cosas que nunca usa y nunca va a usar, ok, so that would be the utility rooms, ok, como un, un, una habitación de utilidades, una habitación de cosas que están ahí, que algún día las va a ocupar supuestamente, right, so that would be the uh, utility rooms, ok, uh, what else, bathroom, ya lo habíamos visto, dining room, Attic. What is the attic? attic. No ten, el ático, right? Nosotros no tenemos, ok. Pero normalmente eso en las casas allá, pues es como arriba, ¿verdad? Como entre el techo y el primer piso. Y ahí hay un montón de ratones y animales ahí, right? So ese es el ático. <laughs> Then we have el, el hall, hallway. El hallway, that would be el, el pasillo siempre, right? El. el pasadizo para irse para el ático, regresar al cuarto o la sala donde sea que esté, right? Bedroom, living room, stairs, ya lo habíamos visto. And that's it. So, utility room is basically un cuartito donde usted va acumulando cosas, tal vez herramientas, algunas cosas de jardín, algunas cositas así. Okay? So, let's continue. Okay? We have a conversation about uh, my new apartment. Okay? This is a conversation between uh, Linda and Chris. Okay? This is a conversation between Linda and Chris. And it says right here, uh, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What it's like, what it's like. It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, uh, and a kitchen. Where is it? Okay. On Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, so this is the conversation that is called my new apartment. Viene ella y le está contando a Chris de su nuevo apartamento y le dice, guess what? Si yo le digo a usted, guess what? Adivina qué? Okay, adivina qué? Guess what? I have a new apartment. Tengo un nuevo apartamento y le dice él, That's great. What is it like? What is it like? Como es? What is it like? Como es? Oh, it's really beautiful. Muy bonito, right? It is very big. Le pregunta, es grande? Le dice, well, it has a big living room and a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. 
De ahí viene Chris, le pregunta dónde está, right? Where is it? Where is it? ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde está? Y está en eh, on Lake View Drive, en esta calle, Lake View Drive. Eh, oh, nice. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Tiene una vista de otro edificio de apartamentos que está ahí. Okay, esa es la vista que tiene. So, uh, let's see. Let's practice a little bit uh, this conversation. Vamos a ver quiénes no les hemos preguntado. Eh, deje ver, vamos a ver. Claudia Quintanilla, ya le pregunté, pero le vamos a volver a preguntar. So, ca, uh, Claudia Quintanilla, you will be uh, Linda and Sandra. Sandra se me estaba escondiendo. Sandra Evelyn, ya no la había visto. Aquí estoy, teacher, aquí estoy, teacher. <risa> <risa> es que ayer tuve problemas con el internet. ¿Verdad? Ay, sí, sí, que yo decía, yo. Sí, no Mire, podía. a mí me pasó de todo ayer, pero ¿para qué le contamos? Estuvo <risa> terrible. <risa> okay. Pero bien, bueno. so, qué bueno tenerla nuevamente, Sandra. Gracias, Usted gracias, va a ser teacher. Chris, ¿ok? So, you are Chris and... Uh, quiero ver que se me hizo Claudia. So you are you are uh, Laura, okay? So go ahead, Claudia. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That great. What? It like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big. Living room. It's a, a, a small bedroom. A uh, bathroom. A kitchen. Where is it? Where is oh, it? Black and View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a very? A view. 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 Perdón. View. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, um, let me see, let me see que oigo mucha, mucha bulla. Déjenme poner mute por acá. Okay, so, uh, nice. Hola, hola. Now, yes. Ok, sorry, que cuando pongo mute, me queda mute como estoy en dos. Ok, me quedo en mute también yo. So, uh, let's see. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Ok, a veces esta palabra la tendemos a querer decir en español, apartamento, pero no, apartment. Apartment. Ok, what is it like? Ok, este tendría que ir así como que unidito porque está ahí contractado, right? What is, what is it like? What is it like? Ok, uh, it is very big. It has, it has, ok, it has. Y el lugar se llama Lake View, Lake View Drive, Lake View Drive. Does it have a view? View, view, vista, right? View. Okay, another apartment building. Building, building. Thank you, okay? Because of the time, solo vamos a trabajar uh, una vez más, okay? Una pareja más. Vamos a ver. Um, Senia Patricia. Senia Patricia. So you will be, you will be, um, Linda, and vamos a ver, vamos a ver quién no le hemos preguntado. Eh, Walter, Walter, ya le preguntamos, pero nuevamente. Walter, you will be Chris. Ok, so go ahead, please. 
Yes. What? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. It's a very big. Well, I, I, it has a big living room, a, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, on Lucky View. Nice. Does it have a view? Yes, I do. I does. It has a view on another apartment building. Uh, thank you, Senia. Thank you, um, Walter. Nice. So, because of the time, so we are going to stop. Okay, we are going to continue with the next part that we have for the day. Let's see. We have this model objective. Uh, let's see, let's see, Jennifer Lemus. Would you please help me with the reading? We have this uh, lesson objective, please. Go ahead, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Okay, okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to respond to yes, no, question in the simple present. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment, which to stress how this topic is used in a real setting. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. So it says right here, by the end of the class, you will learn how to respond, okay? How to respond to yes, no questions in the simple present, okay? Seguimos con el simple present, okay? Additionally, okay, additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting, okay? So let's see what we have right here. We have something about the yes, no uh, questions with uh, simple present, okay? So yes, no questions. ¿Por qué se llaman yes, no questions? Fácil. Estas preguntas se llaman yes, no questions because the answer will be yes or no, okay? Como en el verbo to be, que vieron allá en el módulo uno, en el verbo to be, Vieron ustedes las yes, no questions con el verbo to be, que le decía usted al compañero, are you a doctor, are you a teacher, are you a student? Y la respuesta era yes, I am, or no, I am not. So esas son las yes, no questions, ¿ok? También tenemos yes, no questions en el, en el uh, simple present, que es el tiempo que estamos estudiando, ¿verdad? Acá también tenemos yes, no questions. ¿Y cuáles son estas? Las que tenemos acá. Obviously, we need the auxiliary, right? But uh, the answer will be yes or no. Ok, por eso se llaman yes, no questions, porque la respuesta siempre va a ser sí o no, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, does he get up early? Does she get up early? Okay, and the answer, yes, he does. Yes, she does. Si es la respuesta que va a decir es no, okay. Does he get up late? Does she get up late? No, he doesn't. Or no, she doesn't, okay. Facilita, estas, estas son las yes, no questions. ¿Por qué? La respuesta siempre va a ser o sí o no. Yo le digo a usted, uh, do you study today in the morning? Alguien me puede decir, yes, I do. Yo estudié ahora en la mañana. Otro me va a decir, no, I don't. Yo no estudié ahora en la mañana. Yo estudié en la tarde. O yo estudio después que termina la clase, estudio un ratito más. Ok, so. That's the answer, okay? Yes or no, okay? Por eso se llaman yes, no questions. And short answers with 
does, okay? Remember el auxiliary, right? Does or doesn't, okay? If it is negative. Let's see what else we have right here. Oh my goodness. Creo que ya nos pasamos para mañana. Okay, so let's see. We have right here the, uh, and a small, um, right here, more um, furniture, okay? So, eso es para que vean que hoy sí nos ha salido bien la clase porque no hemos tenido ninguna interrupción ayer, ni terminamos la guía que tenía yo del día porque como me sacó, y miren la computadora si, si me ha sacado hoy, como sabe que tengo la otra, Está, pero portándose de maravilla. No estuviera preparada y estuviera sacándome. Miren, hasta nos ha salido súper genial el tiempo, ¿ok? So, we are going to do this uh, activity right now, ¿ok? Con esto vamos a finalizar. We need to complete, ¿ok? This uh, conversation, ¿ok? Vamos a completar esta conversación, ¿ok? So, try to do it individually. Ya no, hay, ya no hago break up rooms porque we have just five minutes, ¿ok? So, try to do it individually, ¿ok? And then we can do it, we can see together, ¿ok? So, you need to complete this sentence, ¿ok? Using do or does and the complement, right? Depending on the, depending on the, on the subject, right? So, tratemos de ver, number one, it's Linda and Chris. Okay, this is, do you live in apartment? No, I don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. So, don't. try to do it, please. Les doy un minutito, nada más. Tenemos cuatro minutos. Un minutito, vea hasta donde avanza, and then we can see the answers together. Okay, so let's see, let's see what we have, okay? Si no ha terminado, no se preocupe, okay? Tenemos tres minutitos nada más, okay? So let's see, number one is the example, right? Do you live in, an, do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Uh, let's see, continue with Chris, Wendy, Beatriz. ¿Cómo quedaría ahí la second uh, sentence from Chris? Uh, do you live? In apartment, no, I live. No, I, el auxiliar. No, I, no, I don't, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, I live in a house. Thank you, no, I don't, I live in a house, nice. Uh, Cindy, Marilu, the next one, Linda. Does it have a yard? Uh -huh. Does it have a jar? Como le está preguntando si tiene ahí un su patiecito, right? Un su jardincito. Nice. Uh, Sara Guzmán, next one. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. Sí, sí tiene, right? Yes, it does. Si tiene, yes, it does. Nice. Uh, Sonia Araceli, the next one. Linda. Sonia. 
Sonia Araceli. Ah, ok, you don't have audio. Ok, I'm sorry que me ven que le hago así, pero es que tengo aquí las cámaras de ustedes y aquí solo la pantalla. So, uh, let's see. Samuel Davis, Samuel Davis. The next one. That is Linda. Uh -huh. Samuel, David. Hello. Hola, hola. Okay, go ahead. That Excuse sounds me. nice. That sounds nice. Wow. Esta es una pregunta. ¿Cómo quedaría? Excuse me. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, do you live alone? 